We are gearing up for a soaking rain overnight tonight due to a storm in the deep south that's going to race to the northeast. You can see this slug of rain coming right into central Virginia. Now, here's the potential rainfall, probably about an inch on average, but a few locally higher amounts. This is just over the next 24 hours here across the region. And there is a marginal risk for severe weather tomorrow along and mainly east of I-95 with the main threat being damaging winds. But there's going to be enough wind shear in the environment, depending on what takes place, where the storm tracks and the timing on all of this, that there could be an isolated tornado. So we have a low end tornado threat here, a little higher risk down in the Hampton Roads area. Nonetheless, it could turn a little stormy tomorrow afternoon after a soaking wind swept rain in the morning that tops our peak at the week ahead. Colder air will arrive behind this storm system by Tuesday morning and Wednesday and Thursday morning. Many places will start out in the 20s. Then there's a little bit of an unsettled pattern developing later in the week. Uncertainty in terms of a potential storm that could bring a little bit more rain later Friday into Saturday. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But right now it is 52 degrees outside the breeze coming in out of the southeast. Temperatures will actually rise a little bit with the advancement of the rain from the south overnight tonight. So it's going to be a warm day tomorrow. Temperatures near 70, but look at a drop about a 20 to 25 degree drop coming between Monday and Tuesday. Highs will stay in the 40s for a couple days, then we'll bounce back closer to normal in the 50s for the rest of the week into next weekend. So here's the rain now moving in. It's going to be a soaking rain overnight tonight and some heavy rain still around at 6 o'clock in the morning will advance to about 10 o'clock mid morning. Notice it lets up to more of a showery rain, but still a couple of local downpours here. Then going into the afternoon, it breaks up even more, but if we get a few breaks of sunshine that will add to the instability and with the front coming in from the west, that could trigger a few stronger storms with gusty winds. By 6 o'clock, it's all out of here. So the main threat is morning into about the middle of the afternoon. Notice the colder air to the west. It'll trigger some snow in parts of West Virginia. Tuesday, a secondary shot of cool air arrives. Clouds, maybe a sprinkle or a light shower. But for the most part, it's going to be dry. And going into Wednesday, looks like a pretty nice day with sunshine. But the chilly air will definitely be here. All right, here's the forecast overnight tonight. Rain arriving and increasing across the entire area will come down heavy at times during the early morning hours. Rain chances will be real high in the morning. Basically a guarantee it's going to be raining at six o'clock and then those chances diminish as we go into the afternoon. Notice the gusty wind. Occasional wind gusts are going to be over 30 miles an hour tomorrow with temperatures topping out very close to 70 degrees. The colder air arrives on Tuesday. A lot of clouds, maybe a shower, gusty breezes, then lots of sunshine, but chilly Wednesday and the Thursday morning temperatures will be in the 20s. We'll see a little moderation towards the end of the week and then some uncertainty. There could be a quick system moving through on Friday and it's gone for the weekend or potentially a more significant storm that could bring some more significant rain Friday night into Saturday. We'll have to continue to watch that developing situation. We'll keep you posted. It looks like either way it'll clear out for next Sunday.